With the recent patch on the previous server, we gained access to the new gear that you can get from the Master of Temple of the Spider. This stuff right here, and straight off the bat, the helmet's pretty garbage, the chest piece is also pretty garbage, the arms piece also pretty bad, and the boots are only good in Temple of the Spider. So pretty underwhelming gear and I would only get it for the fashion. As for the mythic rings themselves, well there's like three rings that are good, the rest are kind of uh, meh. You have Elistre's beauty ring, which gives that 5% combat advantage and when against multiple enemies, 2.5% power. And then you have Elistre's obligation, 5% crit strike and 2.5% crit severity when against multiple targets. Otherwise, there's Illustri's Grace with the 3.5% defense and awareness reduction on the enemy. However, despite all the testing I could do, the ring didn't seem to work. It's still bugged. Hopefully they can fix it before it's actually released to the live server. The rest of the rings are pretty underwhelming, like 3% to range damage, 3% to melee damage, a bunch of ratings that stacks up to five times not a bad option if you can fit those ratings in your build some recharge speed and a chance to deal extra damage for potentially a tank for threat that's really about it for those rings not a lot going for them however most importantly we can speed up our progress with the campaign so we can obtain the new weapons and that's what i want to do in this video obtain them and see what's going to be required to get them upgraded to legendary as the purple variants aren't great and you can check the legendary ones here with much better set quick tldr on how to obtain the weapons you go to your campaign in your journal north dark reaches you're going to have to follow the quest line which you begin at sergeant knox and protector's enclave with the gold quest the call of the king what you will do is you'll follow the gold quest and then you'll go and complete your weekly haul for six weeks on the first week you obtain your green reagent third week your blue and your sixth week your purple now what you'll have to do is complete that gold quest to finish the quest the plight of blaspheme to then be able to craft these weapons you need the following three reagents again from the campaign along with simply some campaign currency which is the bregan which is easily obtained through your quests it's your weekly haul currency and also these house coins which are again very easily obtained simply through just doing a few quests and heroic encounters so let's jump in to actually obtaining and testing these weapons the first thing we had to do was to continue our gold story quest line so we can see we have now the quest doors of nursed l mission and if you were there for my stream that quest was bugged and i wasn't able to free the prisoner we have to free the guy and we've completed multiple weeks in one week so i assume we have a bunch of catch up to do in terms of the story very fortunately we can actually free the damn guy it seems the door has been fixed either by itself or some dead went in there and fixed it overnight so we can finally open the cage which then gives us the ability to free him speak to him at least there we go and now we have to investigate the door so i assume we have a little mini dungeon here something entirely new i haven't been in but investigating it gives us the ability to okay we just investigate them that's it maybe the next quest will get us to go in them return back hand it in and we can get another gold quest from this guy none of them seem to have the quest we need yet so let's get both those completed we have to place runes near captured myconids and place runes near the door of elamshin there's one rune two and that's three with the quest complete let's do the next quest there's one rune two and this one's hidden away our last one, three. Both quests complete. The waypoints are completely messed up for these quests. The sparkly line is leading me completely the wrong direction. Let's head back, put the waypoint there. Very easy to get lost in a zone you haven't been much in. And in both those two quests, they do give me some currency there. Hopefully we can get 100 by the time. And then we get raiding the camp. Nobody else has a gold quest? No. We move our waypoint. We've got to go up this way. We just have to slaughter a bunch of poor drow. Although I disapprove of slavery, so good riddance. And that should be the quest complete here. Yeah. And back again. 
And that one back in, and can we finally get the Blaspheme quest? Nope, through the doors. Ah, now we can enter the mini dungeon, excellent. Avoid these enemies, interact with the doors, and load forever. This place looks interesting. We've just got to mark supply crates for sabotage. One out of seven, that's two, three, four, five, six. Reminds me a bit like a Undermountain Expedition. It is exactly a reskin of an Undermountain Expedition. Damn it, I bloody missed one. That's a chest, not one. Ah, this sneaky guy here guarding it. With seven complete, we can go confront the boss, I guess. Switch to single target, head through the gateway. And get our storyline cutscene. Ah, it is exactly like Undermountain Expedition Arena. Oh, he's a bit chunky. And we do have some Mykonids to help us. They, they, they try to. Well, we kill her. That's quest complete. We can leave, I guess, and head all the way back. That's that quest. The next one, Spores, Mold, and Mucus. Speak to this guy. We have to collect samples from corrupted myconids. Another slaughter quest. I mean, people say there's nothing to do after like two weeks of completing the campaign or three, maybe. Well, unfortunately, this campaign is going to be 10 weeks, so you're going to be stuck doing something every week if you want to get it done. Samples don't seem to want to drop. Got another one there. Oh, I guess I missed one over here. Okay, we just need two more. Excellent. Here's our two with quest complete. And that's that done. Next, Search of Corruption. Oh, we completed two of his quests, but we also just need to speak to him normally. All right. May as well pick up the repeatables. We have to search the entrance. I guess we're going to have another mini zone or mini dungeon. The first mini dungeon was up here. The second was here. The third is most likely going to be here. I think I know where I have to go. It's all the way over here on this peninsula. But it wants me to go to these circles first. Waste my time first, eh? Ah, yes, exactly. That's where it wants to bring us. What does it want me to do? We just have to return now. Leave you spiders. These times I wish I had faster mount speed. And that's that. We now have descent into the depths. As suspected. Back again. We have enough currency of everything. We still can't buy the weapons. Because we gotta do the quest. Let's jump down here. Let's not fall in the middle. And interact with the waterfall. Interesting. Wants us to break these crystals. Kill the enemies. Interact and it explodes. Oh we have second crystal. And we free the guys. You're definitely a mix of art from Undermountain. Oh, this place is even an exact copy of the area. I mean, why not? It's like I haven't run that content in like three years. So they have changed the lighting. They've changed the enemies. They've added different textures, different props. What? We are following me? Oh my God, this is so funny. They all teleport after me. Can they finish that guy off, please? Look, look, look at them all teleport to me. We just have to reach the still water pool. Avatar of Fungus, let's kill you. Oh, you didn't have much HP. Ouch, I walked in a trap. Just kill them. They have blocked off certain doorways. They want us to burn growths. A big spider right here. As usual, they're so noisy. Okay, this is one of the growths. We interact with it, try not to stand in the poison. Oh, there's still a guy here, really? Okay, that's one of the growths, 12%. Another hiding over here, let's kill this spider. 25%. 37. What is this? Oh, you can near them in their blades. Okay. Never seen them on a wall before, those traps. Ouch. Another trap. Well, that should be 50%. 62. 75. 87. Wasn't even guarding anything. Scam. This guy is. Goodbye. Don't speak. Now I have to locate Livra Mizraim again. Ah yes, here's our boss fight. Let's go single target again. Take some buffs. Get up in our face. Okay, a bit of AoE needed. There's three of them. All right then. But they are getting wrecked. They are dead. Goodbye. Succubus helped out a lot. Oh, so we're just gonna purge this place. Goodbye. Excellent. Now let's get out of here. Well, now we gotta run all the way back again. Interesting dungeon. Interesting. It, it is reworks of things like using existing presets of graphics and i'm not going to complain i'm not really here for that type of content i'm here for the fun engaging 
group content, but if it is progressing towards your character, in one way it is fun for me to do and to achieve such and then progress. That's that, and we finally get the last quest, which is Plight of Blaspheme. Speak to her and speak to him, and well, we gotta go back to uh, Bruner. Excellent. Back to the throne room where it all began. Turn back, and with that, we should have complete the quest. Feel free to read everything, but I'm skipping through things. That is the quest complete. Let's speak back. We should now be able to craft our weapons. Uh, let's let's see this now. Hell yeah, available. We go, we click start. Please tell me it's going to do it. Yes, within 10 seconds, not like freaking five days or some nonsense. And we can claim the new weapons. Make some inventory space for them. There we go. We have the new weapon set. Right. They are unbound. Very odd. I could post them on the auction house. Weird. Okay then. Probably not intended. But you could make some money off this. Grinding alt. Selling them for people who don't want to spend freaking six weeks on a campaign. To get like some of the best weapons. However. Most important thing is. How do you upgrade them to legendary? Let's give them a right click and is there any way we can upgrade them? We can preview them. That doesn't look good. There's no way I can upgrade them. Right clicking on them doesn't do anything. Let's equip them. They will be bound. Replacing the weapons I've had. Right clicking on them again doesn't give me the option to upgrade. Very weird. Where do the legendary ones come from? They both say from the Nork Dark Reaches campaign. Checking the campaign again. Am I missing something? Aha! We need purple worm toxin sack. A reagent to complete the some assembly require task. Weird. It says unavailable. I'm assuming I'm going to have to go through a bunch of these to get my weapons upgraded. But as they stand on purple, these weapons are still better than quite a lot of other options. I mean, in terms of the ones you can get just as easily they still give a lot of item level and they still give some extra base damage how does that base damage exactly correlate with item level for example we have 9964 if we unequip a weapon we should lose 228 just due to the 1,900, so we should be on 9,736. However, we are lower than that. We are exactly 50 lower. So the damage from these weapons does not scale with, let's say, DPS having 20% extra damage based off item level. We can see it says modified by items plus 100. Still pretty good as they stand. You can watch my video where I compared. And going into combat here and let's say dealing combat advantage damage happens pretty instantly. You gain your blaspheme advantage. Yeah, straight away. And if we let's say dodge it should give us the benefit it does blaspheme tactics so it works as intended as they stand on purple they are not best in slot they're still very beneficial even in scaled content compared to weapons that you would get for let's say seals from dragonbone veil vale. these weapons are definitely a lot worse in comparison you could upgrade these ones to legendary and then they would somewhat be competitive with these ones but the item level alone plus the additional damage will give them the edge especially since that damage when we go in let's say a scaled dungeon caverns of corundax nobody's going to be in there once we're scaled down we can see that we are scaled to 30,000 item level so at 30,000 item level we can see that we should have 36,000 damage but we actually have a hundred damage extra. That is pretty massive. Okay, it's not that a big deal. It's nearly 3% additional damage, but the lower you get scaled down, the more effective that will be. And upgrading them to legendary again will give you a hundred damage on each weapon. So we would gain nearly 5% increased damage in this scaled content 
just by having those weapons. So yes, they are pretty good. But again, mainly once you get them to legendary. How hard would that be? We shall see. Again, I'd like to give a special thanks to all of these channel members for their continued support. And if I present this well, consider leaving the video a like. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. We'll see you guys around. Goodbye for now.